why do so many women across the Tibetan plateau die in childbirth? Such things in developed countries where we have um, you know, ready access to hospital can be rushed by ambulance if necessary to a hospital if um, uh, a woman is hemorrhaging, literally bleeding to death uh, after childbirth. You know, these things seem to be something that belongs in the past. But across Tibet, it still happens at an extraordinary rate, and nobody talks about it. Nobody seems to be able to know what to do about it. China says it has an answer, and that is that uh, Tibetan women and Tibetan families and Tibetan communities should live in towns or near towns and have ready access to hospitals because uh, it's only economically efficient to provide hospitals and clinics in urban centres. It can never be economic to do so in remote rural areas. That's not much comfort for a woman who discovers you know, late in pregnancy that there are complications and she needs to get to a hospital or her life is threatened and it could take you know, not only hours but even days, sometimes many days, on the back of a yak if necessary or a, or a, a tractor uh, on bad roads to get to a hospital, usually and unfortunately far too late. Is there no alternative? What about Tibetan medicine? Does Tibetan tradition have anything to offer? Or is it simply useless in, in an emergency? Uh, good only at the early stages of uh, prevention and, and diagnosis. What about you know, the world's health NGOs? Have they been able to get into Tibet to try different models? What about the traditional birth attendants you find in so many third world countries? Isn't there anything that anyone can do in a practical way to help Tibetan women so they don't have to bleed to death in order to give birth to the next generation of Tibetans?